What's up guys, Shane here Figdeck 3D Printing. Today we're gonna take a look at wood PLA from Robo 3D. So welcome back guys. So on, what was it? Black Friday, there was a huge sale on Robo 3D filament, so I figured I would pick up a bunch. And I picked up PLA, carbon fiber, and wood. And this is the wood filament, obviously, that I received in. So this is bought with my own money. They did not send this to me, even though I asked them to. They didn't really care. But let's dive in and take a look at it. Uh, here's the box. It tells you wood PLA up here. It is one kilogram, 2.2 pounds. And it's a nice, colorful box. There's a lot going on here. So on the side, it tells you different types of materials they have. So PLA, ABS, wood PLA, and carbon fiber PLA. This is specialized as a, or notated as a specialty PLA. Front and back is the same, and each of the sides are the same. This just depends on how you orient it and whatnot. So let's take a look. Okay, here it is. So this is those short little stubby rolls that I really don't like. Oh, so it's in a... Ziploc bag, but it's obviously sealed at the top, so we'll rip that off. And one side has this aluminum, the other side is clear. Let's rip this open. All right. So here we are, and there is a silica pack wedged in there. That is a tiny, tiny hole. I mean, almost one finger, two fingers covers it up. It is a snap together style spool. It does have wiggle movement. And this filament is actually really smooth compared to other woods. I mean, I've only had other two other wood PLAs that I've worked with so far. That's Foxmart and Hatchbox. Hatchbox is by far the best one. I mean, it just blew my mind with how well that prints. I'm hoping that this prints as well, but I mean, my goodness, look how small that spool hole is. This is definitely not gonna fit on my FT5 spool holder, sadly. So I'm gonna probably have to find another one, print that so I can hook this up. So they're definitely gonna get dinged on a crappy spool design because you need to have this be much wider, at least 50 millimeters, because that's what most people have. This filament is spooled very well, as you can see there. I would say, are arguably say like their box here, but if you look at the different colors, that is definitely not the same color wood filament. I was expecting this to be darker. I was hoping it was gonna be darker as well, just like it was on the box. So that is definitely a misrepresentation of the color. Uh, here on the spool, it just says Robo 3D and it gives you their website and the same UPC sticker that is on the top of the box. So nowhere here did they say what the print temp should be, print speeds, bed temp, anything like that. So I'm gonna have to go to their website and check that out and we'll go from there. Does have a does have an aroma to it. No matter what people say, uh, filaments do have aromas to them, and this one really does. It's slightly a matte finish. It's not quite smooth like you would see a PLA. It's definitely not as rough as the Foxmart wood PLA. Also not as rough as the Hatchbox wood PLA. And the Hatchbox wood PLA was amazing. I'm hoping this turns out well. Also, also turns out good. Anyways, let's put this on the printer. Get some prints going. So we'll see you soon. All right guys, welcome back. My initial thoughts on this, I will say, is I'm very disappointed with the filament. It prints beautifully, and it prints so smooth, so simple, at anywhere between 185 and 215 degrees. I had no problems with stringing or anything like that. I tried layering it, as you can do with wood, but that starts my disappointment, is that there is such a high plastic content in this filament that it doesn't really act like wood filament does. It doesn't feel like other wood filaments do. So I'm thinking this is more like a, you know, 85, 15% or 90, 10%, 10% being the wood content of the filament, or they're just calling it that because it's got some little particles in it and it's prints low temp and the color. I don't really know. It definitely is not a traditional wood filament as I'm used to printing with from like Hatchbox or the, uh, what's it, Foxmart was one of the other ones that I tried out. And that one was, yeah. But anyways, onto this filament. Let's take a look at some of these prints, see how they turned out. Alrighty then, well up first is my Fugitech coin, which again, it came out really nice. There was a little bit of the like, pimpling in it a little bit, you know, the zitting, but that wasn't all horrible. On the bottom side, you can see it did pretty well on that overhang, that swoop up, but not everywhere. Bottom layer came out great. There was actually a piece stuck to the bottom, it looks like there. Didn't notice, and actually still have some support on here. And you can see how it does underneath the support. And so you guys can see here, I'm doing a few dense layers. You can see the dense layers there in order to try to fill 
fill in and make these as nice as possible. Some of the dents that actually stay there. But either way, I mean, it came out nice, but again, the feel of it, it feels a little bit like wood filament, but I would say it mostly feels like plastic. And that's kind of a shame. It's a very light colored, I'd call it bamboo. If I had to call it anything, definitely, definitely not as dark as it was on the box. Nowhere near that. The next print I did was this little wood sign. This one I definitely tried to do the temperature changes throughout the print, and you can't tell at all. I changed it several times throughout the print, anywhere between 185 and 225 degrees, and you can't tell anywhere where the temperature changed. You know, I was hoping for that kind of gradient change the hotter you print it, the more it kind of burns the wood, the darker it gets. But I didn't have any of that. Top layers were good. Bottom layer, again, beautiful. This filament prints amazingly like PLA. That's just how it is. But again, this came out great. No stringing, nothing like that. Really nice. Actually, I will say, this is the only print I had stringing on. There was a string between the W and the D here, which simply came off with a quick swoop with a uh, flat blade. Came right off. So that was, that. this one actually did have string. I forgot about that. Okay, next I printed this owl, which is pretty cool. I like him a lot. I've seen a lot of people print him. I've never printed one before though. It came out pretty good. I did have some under extrusion here around his neck randomly, a little bit here on his back, some random under extrusions. Bottom layer was great. A little bit of the filament had strung down at the bottom of his, you know, uh, feather tips here at the bottom. Talons came out nice. The piece of wood looks, you know, like it would be a piece of wood. So again, it, it came out great. It printed really nice. It's just not the effect I was looking for out of a wood filament, but it still prints nice. I can't knock it for that. So next up we have the dwarf. You see he's missing part of his hammer here. The handle broke off. So I printed him with support because it says it needed it. As you can see, there's some flat parts on him under his arms needed support because you know, they're going to print out in midair and the support went behind his hammer handle. And when I pulled it off, I was trying to be careful, but it actually broke this off because basically this has like one small little bit going through it and a, at a 20% infill, this barely gets any infill in it. And that is a downfall of using the low percentage infills that when you have very small detailed items, most likely they're not going to have any infill in them. So they become very brittle. But either way, he was, you know, again, printed really nice, had no real issues with him except for breaking this off that was so thin, it just snapped with the filament. Another guy I printed here real quick was the Aztec Chief. He came out really nice, usually under his shield will sag a little bit, little bit of sagging there, but much less than other PLAs I've seen. You know, under his butt, sometimes that will, or this little thing will sometimes. He's meant to not be, he's meant to be printed without supports, which is great. Uh, on top, everything filled in really nice. So again, he prints nice, but it doesn't have that wood feel. I have a nice, very successful Groot bust. This is the thick shell Groot. I have a little issue with a first layer here. It peeled off a little bit, but then it stuck down the rest of it. Uh, he is printed with support, so you can see under his chin here, how that's kind of goofy looking because there's support that build up all the way up to his chin. Some of his eyes go in there. But up here, it really looks like, you know, he's a freaking tree stump, which is cool. And he, the detail was great. You know, 0 0.2 millimeter layers. This took, oh, what, 23, 24 hours to print this guy here. So not too long, but I mean, he looks nice, but it's so plasticky sounding because there's such a high percentage of plastic, but he does look good and it did print very well. Well, that's all the prints, guys. You can see they all printed extremely well, but I'm not looking for just extremely good looking prints. I'm looking for prints that resemble wood. I will say that printing this does give off a great uh, wood aroma, but again, the final results are not wood-like. The Hatchbox wood filament comes out more like wood. I've also used uh, Easy Wood from I forget who. That comes out a lot more like wood. I just had a wood filament in this month's Maker Box, which also came out much like wood. I believe that was toner plastics wood or something like that. I forget who that was. Anyways, those all come out much, much more wood-like. You can change your temperatures, which end up changing the extrusion color for the wood because you're burning it a little bit more the higher your temperatures are. It's not getting burned as much the lower your temperatures are. Normally wood prints between 180 and 220, 225. After that, it gets pretty stringy, depending on the maker, obviously, you know, whoever the manufacturer of the wood is. These all came out okay. They look good, but they're not having the qualities that I want. I did try and sand a scrap piece and it basically would just butter over because there's so much plastic, the heat from the sandpaper would just smear and butter it up and it didn't actually sand properly. And you wouldn't get like, when you sand a, a dark piece of wood, it starts to get lighter, a little bit whiter because of just the sand particles and the wood that's coming off. This just literally starts to melt 
in that spot and just smudges. Looks horrible, it really does. I wish I would have kept that, that piece, but sadly I didn't, so it is what it is. So I will say guys, my final recommendation is I don't recommend this filament. If you like the color, and you want a semi-wood filament, this might be for you. For me, I want something that even after I print it, has that texture of a wood filament. It ha You can feel the, f almost. it's almost like saying feeling the fibers, but that's not the right word. I don't know how to describe it. But you can just feel how it feels like it could have been carved out of like an extremely like light, like a balsa wood almost. And that's kind of what the color of this is. And again, the quality is great. It prints amazingly on multiple printers. It just doesn't have the desired effect that I wanted. Also, I would say huge, huge mismarketing on Robo 3Ds because the filament on the box is super dark. I mean, really dark looking. And again, sadly, I don't have the box, but I will put a picture up here of what it looks like. Look how dark that is, and look how light this is. How light this came out. That's not the same at all, so you guys really need to update your picture to match exactly what people are buying, because that is very misleading, and I don't appreciate that. And um, thank you to me for buying this filament. I bought this just because I wanted to try it out. I bought this actually before I had any type of support, but the future uh, roles that I have bought have been used with Patreon funds or some of the uh, affiliate link funds that I've received. So if then, we thank you guys, but this one, thank you me for buying it. I wanted to try it out, let you guys know. This actually was bought on a Black Friday sale. Robo 3D's film is actually pretty expensive, and I think, it was, I think it was about 20 bucks on sale, or $18, somewhere right around there, and it was free shipping as well. So it was well worth the purchase to try out and let you guys know about this if you see it on sale. Again, if this is something that you want, the color you want, be looking for something that is near wood, but not quite there, it's still very smooth, very plasticky feeling, then this would be for you. If you're looking for more of the traditional, what you would expect from a wood film it being more wood, being a little more porous, uh, a little more fibrous, maybe. But if you're expecting something like that, this is not the filament for you. On that note, guys, thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a like. If you didn't, hit the dislike button. Let me know why down below. Do you think I gave this a fair rating? Do you not think I gave it a fair rating? I really want to hear from you guys. Let me know what you think. If you want to help out the channel, best way to do it, subscribe down below. Every subscription really helps. There's a bell icon down by where my icon is and the title of the video is. You can hit that. You'll know anytime I upload content. If you want to help me out with your hard-earned money, there's a Patreon link down below. I appreciate everyone that gives me something. And if you don't give me anything, that is totally fine as well. If you want to help me out without you, using your money. A free way to do it is all the affiliate links down below. Update your bookmarks, do your daily shopping with things like Amazon, AliExpress, eBay. A little bit of that comes back to me and helps me, again, build content for the channel. I thank you guys so much for watching and as always, happy printing.